I'm going to demonstrate how to create a raster silhouette or a vector outline from an online image. So let's say that I've done a Google search for pliers and I've found this one here. Go ahead and copy this image and I'm going to paste it into Illustrator. Just make it a little bit smaller since I'm going to do two different versions of this and I'll go ahead and copy it so I have two. So tracing in Illustrator requires that you click on the image trace button. This image tracing menu appears as soon as you select or paste in an object. I'm going to click on image trace and it's going to trace it using the preset default which is not usually very helpful. So there, um, I generally will choose silhouettes from this menu and I'll do the same thing for this bottom one here. So image trace and then change the preset to silhouettes. And in order to actually get the paths here, I need to click on the expand button. But before that I do that, I want to show you that there's also this image trace panel. And if you click that button, you have many choices, including the presets, um, such as threshold, paths, corners, and noise. And if I slide these, you'll notice that I can change how much of the object is traced and other things like how smooth it is. So if there are uh, very few corners and very many paths, for example, I can get um, a much smoother object with no noise and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and just set that back to the default here, silhouettes. Uh, this object here is pretty much ready for raster engraving, but one thing I would do is I would expand it and then right now there's actually a border around here so I'm going to go to the object menu and ungroup it and if I click off of the object and then click back on that border I can press the delete key to get rid of it. For this bottom one I'm going to do something similar but then add a stroke. So I will expand it, I'm going to ungroup it, I'm going to click off of the object and then click on the border, press the delete key and then when I select this object I can change the fill to none and the stroke to black or any color and then the stroke weight to the laser cutter weight of 0 .001. So this is all set for vector cutting and you know optionally I could change the, the color of this and so forth to my liking. And that's it.